for the AP Calculus BC, um, BC exam for 2015, number six is given the Maclaurin series. And um, for A, we have to find R using the ratio test. In order to find R with ratio test, we have to um, do A n plus 1 over A n. So if we plug in n plus 1 to n in the general form, um, it'll become negative 3 to the n plus minus 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 times x to the n plus 1, and then um, divided by um, the regular equation. So negative 3 n minus 1 over n x to the nth power. So in order to divide two equations, um, I'll write negative 3 to the n, n nth power over n plus 1 times n to the n plus 1, and then times um, negative 3 to the n minus 1 n times x to the n, 1 over x to the nth. So pretty much everything cancels out. So that becomes um, negative 3. Um, that becomes 1. We're left with n, negative 3, x, and n plus 1. So that becomes negative 3n over n plus 1 times x. Now we're going to set a limit for this whole thing. Um, so limit when n goes to infinity of um, negative 3n over n plus 1 times x. So when n goes to infinity, um, the limit will go to negative 3x. So in absolute value, which is 3x. In absolute x. So since 3 absolute value of x should um, be smaller than 1, um, absolute value of x should be smaller than 1 third, which makes that equal to x be greater than negative one third and smaller than one third. So radius of convergence will equal to one third for A. B. Write the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for F prime, the, deriv the derivative of x. Express F prime as a rational function for absolute value of x is smaller than r. So the first four terms of the Maclaurin series are 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial. Wait, no, that's not true. <laughs> the real four non-zero terms are um, for x prime are 1 minus 3x plus 9x squared minus 27x cubed. So f prime of x would be um, 1 over 1 minus negative 3x, which would be 1 over 1 plus 3x. C. Write the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for e to the x. Use the Maclaurin series for e to the x to write the third degree Taylor polynomial for g of x equals e to the x f x about x equals zero. So C. The first um we need four terms. So yeah, the four non-zero terms would be one plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial. Um, so that's e to the x. So e to the x times f of x, which is g of x, 
would be um e to the x which is um 1 plus x plus x squared plus, um over 2 factorial plus f cubed pl over 3 factorial dot 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 times f of x which is x minus 3 um halves over i mean x squared plus 3x cubed minus dot 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 and that um cancels to x minus one half x squared plus two x cubed plus and it goes on so the third degree taylor polynomial would be x minus one half x squared plus two x cubed 